information on the following contest is scheduled for wonderful and it's for the CW Fever Championship! Oh my god, man, like Justin Winters, I mean, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, this guy's, he, he's got a lot of potential. And like he really could like strive in the CW, but we'll see what happens. Like, cause you know we're we're making lots of cuts and stuff, but I mean uh, Justin Winters, man, you know he could, he really could just like potentially make it. But Justin Winters is really a force to be reckoned with here in the CWO. Oh man, I'm telling you. This is gonna be a good match, man. Here he comes, man. I'm telling you, like the fever champion, like you know, he's the son of Gold Skull. And Gold Skull, like you know, he he's like a man of force. And they can burst out here and see the hill. But go, go. He's here. And he is the son of Gold Card. Not Gold Card. Maybe you can like read up on your CWO history. Oh man, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like you. I'm sorry, Captain. Here for the CWO, we'll find out as this match gets underway. Here it is, the CWO Fever Championship on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger, Justin. Winters. And his opponent, he is the CWO Fever Champion, son of Gold Card, Gold Skull. Oh man, like I, I really feel like I, I dunce now, yeah, because I said, yeah, 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 something else, man. But I mean, that it is Gold Skull, like you know, you know, I really believe he deserves to be the Fever Champion. But at the same time, you know, we're gonna find out here tonight who really is the Fever Champion. This match is about ready to commence. And there it is, referees calling for the battle as we have Gold Skull and Justin Winters meeting up in the winner in the middle. Gold Skull manages to shove Justin Winters down. He's got uh, quite the offensive already going. And oh, another choke. Slam straight down into the mat. And now he's got Zach. The leg of Justin Winters. We've got Gold Skull and Justin Winters right here. There it is. Oh, boss grab. No, it's easy to stop into the back. Oh, man, you know, like, if I really had to put my money on this match, I almost want to say that Gold Skull is going to win it because Gold Skull, I mean, like, you know, he's, he, he's been, like, running around here in the CW for a bit, and so is Justin Winters, but I mean, yeah! Oh my god! That was an arm whip. And now he's got like, you know, all the moves, man. Like, I mean, this match so far has been back and forth. Justin Winters trying to take it to Gold Skull now after an onslaught at the beginning of the match. And it was worse by Gold Skull. Gold Skull is now going after the arm of Justin Winters. Is if saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to take. Two of your limbs away. He's gone straight into the turnbuckle. And he gets set up straight. 
He's gonna go up top with a nice super sidewalk slam. Oh man, you know, I gotta tell you, man, like, you know, it, it, it's really hard for me to, like, pinpoint, like, who I really want to win this match. But I mean, like, Gold Skull, Justin Winters, man, I mean, both these guys are really, are, are, are really deserving of, you know, where they're at right now. And here it is, Gold Skull. And uh, he's gonna drag Justin Winters back into the middle of the ring. And he's not gonna try for cover. No, he's gonna try and go straight after the head. After going after the leg, after going to the arm. Now, Gold Skull going for the leg. And now he's waiting for Justin Winters to get up. Justin Winters has managed to reverse with a nice spinning elbow. And now he's gonna crank. Oh, way on the neck, and Gold Skull. Justin Winters, Gold Skull, these two men are really gonna try to drag it out. Who will be the seed in your fever As Gold Skull gets ready with a nice punch kick to the skull of Justin Winters. And now he's gonna go for the cover here. There's a one, two, Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, and still, the Fever Champion, Gold Skull. Oh, man, I gotta tell you, like, Gold Skull, like, you know, with that punt kick and everything, I mean, I, I was hoping Justin Winters would be able to prove himself, but in the end, I mean, Gold Skull just, like, really proved it with that punt kick to the skull of Justin Winters. Your winner, Gold Skull. Oh my God, God Skull just retained. Folks, Fright Night will be right back as we get ready for our next contest. Huh. What's this? Two rivals looking to tear life from each other, them from them. And here I am, waiting for my moment. But I mean, when I have to compare him, like, he's had a few matches. 
Yeah, and Brent found a few matches. But when it has to like really compare the new I, I really don't think that maybe we took first as a passionary girl, man. I guess we'll find out. chooses to wear a little beat up shirt like that because oh my god wait a minute the referee's already down who this match hasn't even started these two are gonna go on it and here it is Sir is now going straight after Brady and he sells with an ice belly to back suplex the referee is down and these two men are now going at it no, but you, you never finish your story about why he wore like, you know, a beat up shirt, but I, I think I can finish it. Oh, Nick Vega from Brady Sally's. And now uh, he's going to go for a Fujiwara on bar. Straight on Surge. Surge is going to fight it out. And the referee is now starting to get back up. Oh, I mean, can, can, can you please let me as to why Brett wants to wear a beat up like shirt like it? It's because. The CWO has been through so many years, has been decimated, destroyed, and reborn again. And Brandy Sellies, the founder of the CWO, wears a torn up shirt like he does to show the fact that just because something like the CWO is going to be Sort of shreds, it doesn't mean that I can't get back. And nice reverse DDT from Surge. Surge is coming up to the outside. No, he's going to taunt Brandy Sally's. With an up. Oh my god. You know, I gotta tell you, man, like, I mean, these two, like, I mean, they really, from, yeah, from the research I did do, these two, like, I mean, they had, like, quite the rivalry in the CWO back in, like, you know, late 90s and early 2000s. But, I mean, like, you know, the fact that both, both these men are now coming up here at Fight Night and reliving their rivalry, it's like, you know, which one of these two men is going to win? Is it going to be Serge? Is it going to be Brent Alley's, man? I don't know. Oh, Brent Alley's looks like he's really hurt. As uh, Surge is really taking now. Surge has got Brent the Ace Alley's up. And oh my god! Looks like he's gonna try to end Brent's career. Break his neck, so to speak. That's the cut around with these two had. Nice moon silk on the Brent A. Sally's. And Lieutenant Surge is now gonna stop away. No, wait, he's gonna take control. It seems like, man, I'm telling you, like, it seems like Serge has, like, really been in control of the match. Ever since that referee got knocked down, I mean, Brent, you know, he had, like, a couple of shots here and there. But I'm telling you, man, it, 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 it looks like, you know, Brent's, like, out on his last leg, man. Brent, the ace, all he's going to try everything he can. Wait a minute. He's got Serge up. Into a fisherman suplex! Oh no, that was a fire driver! Yeah, a thunder driver or something like that. No, if it's a, a fisherman driver, is more like it. Brent is now starting to fight back uh, against Lieutenant Surge. Where is he getting all of his spunk from? And wait, oh my god! He's gonna drive her, Sally's cutter! But he's not gonna finish the match right there. No, he's not done. 
That might be the end of it for Brian Alley's. He should have just finished it with that reverse Alley driver. Here we got really ten surge into the wall. A nice drop kick straight on the Brian Alley's. And now he's going to go after the foot yet again. Oh man, you know, he's going to try everything. Here he's getting up to the pitfall. One, two, two count only as Brett Manager said, kick out. The uh, former owner of the CWO is fighting for his life right now against Lieutenant Surge, who, from what I understand, is still active in the U.S. military. And Lieutenant Surge is now getting with a nice speed lift from Bryce. The oh, wait a minute. No. He's got, oh my God, power up. Hard of it. Reverie in. One, two. Three. Oh my god, no, wait a minute, now he's going to turn it into a box of crap, here's this it, here's Red Eye, he's going to tap out right now to the box of crap, he's, no, no, he's not going to give up, oh my god, man, Red Eye, he's managed to get out of that one real good, Red Eye, he's managed to, oh my god, Lieutenant Surge right now, he's got Brandy Ace, how he's on the ropes, he's going to go for another pinfall, one, two, Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Lieutenant Surge. Oh man, I mean, you, you really got to hand it like, to, to, to Brent Lutonex. Like, he, he pulled out all the stops. I mean, uh, I, I, I feel like he could have pulled out just, you know, a, 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 a couple of more moves and everything. But I mean, Lieutenant Surge, like, in the end, I guess Lieutenant Surge, like, Really wanted more than Brent the Ace Alley's. Your winner is the Tennessee. Eh? Listen up, eh? Tonight, there will be a triple threat, eh? Match for the CWO World Championship, but I just can't look that sit, eh? Let's make it a little bit more interesting, eh? So, tonight, shut up, you American hicks. Listen to what I have to say, hey? Because this company is mine, hey? I am the owner of the CWO, hey? It was, doesn't matter. Now, I am your general manager, hey? Right now, hey? So what we're going to do, hey? Is turn your main event, eh? In the way, hey, to a fourth man, hey? But who is the fourth man, hey? Let's find out when this match, which is coming up next, begins, eh? And I'm sorry, you peasants don't understand, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the CWO World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, from Truther Consequences, New Mexico, Hardcore. Oh man, I gotta tell you, like Hardcore, like. But I mean, like, can, can he really, like, pull for here now to become uh, a two-time CWO World Champion? But when it comes down to the CWO World Heavyweight Championship, right now we've got two men 
for sure. Who have won? Let's shop it, sir. And his opponent. Time CWO World Heavyweight Champion No Oh my god folks I cannot believe it This was just announced so Night Train is now gonna be in this match for the CWO World Heavyweight Championship, and this is going to be a shock for everyone in the match. Oh uh, man, I don't know if I can really agree with that because I, 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 I honestly think that, like, you know, Logan might have been sitting there, like, you know, you, you know, kind of like watching what was going on, but I mean, Logan has the best history against Night Train versus Blake Hale and Hardcore, like. You know, uh, Blake Hale and Hardcore, they don't have as much of the history as they do as Nat Train and the Heavy Metal Machine, man, I'm telling you. Folks, this is going to be one hell of a CWO Championship match. As we know, El Fauna, who the mystery opponent is going to be. And we are still waiting on the CWO World Heavyweight Champion. Oh man, I gotta tell you, uh, you know, I mean, Night Train, uh, he's got quite a history. Hardcore deserves it, though. Blake Hill deserves it. Night Train, oh my god, he's he, 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 If it wasn't for an hardcore back in the Indies, from what he's saying, the heavy metal machine would never have gotten into professional wrestling like he did. 
the heavy metal machine managed to win his very first world heavyweight championship in hardcore's federation in his first match as we have now on the outside blake hale and night train night train a cwo veteran he has won the cwo world heavyweight championship six times versus seven over logan's and i gotta tell you right now when it really boils down to it any one of these four men could walk out as the cwo world heavyweight champion who is gonna be oh man you know a, a nice belly uh, belly suplex from blake hale on to not i mean blake hale like you know he he's really like deserving of it and everything but i mean like there he is like trying to turn hardcore but i don't know if that those outside of the ring times are really gonna work against hardcore especially when you got the heavy metal machine in the ring back body drop from hardcore on to the heavy metal machine now it is blake hale against uh, hardcore blake hale gets then hardcore into the corner he's got him sitting up on the top rope hardcore he's gonna block then we got night train uh, trying to take blake hale oh my god blake hale takes him down with the shoulder and there hardcore capitalizes right away folks this is a fatal four rate which means the first person to score a pinfall or a submission will become the CWO World Champion. Which means the Heavy Metal Machine Logan does not need to be involved in the decision in order to lose this, his championship. Basically, all odds are against Logan. Oh, hardcore Blake Hill and Night Train just need to figure out a way to somehow win the match. On the outside, we got Blake Hill going after Night Train. On the inside of the ring, we got Logan and Hardcore. Oh my God! Logan's gonna go up there and go. He's going for the pinball. One, two. Oh my God! Blake Hill manages to break out the pinball just in time. Oh man, this is gonna be like one hell of a match. There, oh, and nice. Final there with ET and kiss of hail. Blake Hill get cover. Uh, dark side. One, two. Oh my god. Dark side managed to kick out of the kiss of hail. No, I think it's gonna take a lot more than just a kiss of hail to get not trained down. I mean not trained's been in this game for about the same number of years as Hardcore and Logan. We don't know anything else other than uh, about Blake Hill, other than the fact that, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, these guys are like really fun. No, wait a minute. Oh, chat spot. The heavy metal sheet goes straight for a night train. Could this rivalry? No. He's going to turn his attention now to Blake Hill. He's got Blake Hill and he's going to lift him up. It looks like, oh my God, the suplex DDT. On to Blake Hill, and now the Heavy Metal Machine Logan gets sent Night Train back into the middle of the ring. The Heavy Metal Machine and Night Train are going to fight out. There it is, come on. There it is, a full Nelson slam from Night Train onto the Heavy Metal Machine. It looks like Night Train's going to go. We've got Blake Hill getting sent into the steel steps. Night Train's going to launch down with an elbow on the Heavy Metal Machine. Hardcore is going to lift up like Harold the outside. Night Train with a boot to the Heavy Metal Machine. He's going to tell him. Hardcore is strong. Looks like he's going to stop Blake Hale. Blake Hale and Hardcore. Blake Hale gets sent into the rope. In and in, in, into a punch. And now uh, it looks like after a power bomb. Night Train is going to try to go for a cover. One, two. Oh my God. Heavy metal machine, nice kick out. Oh man, I gotta tell you, like, in order to kick out after a power run from not trying, you gotta like be really in a shit and something like that, you know. I'm telling you, we got Blake Hill in hard guard. Blake Hill now turning his attention to Night Train, realizing the difficulty it will be to get Night Train on this match. He's gonna turn his attention and try and damage Night Train, the heavy metal machine. Now rolling out of the upside as Blake Hale. Oh, wait a minute. No. Blake Hale reversed the test. And it looks like Blake Hale going to run in with a march. 
On to the heavy metal machine with a nice suplex on to the heavy metal machine. Blake Hale is looking to be strong right now. Yes, we have hardcore in the ring. And it looks like Night Grades is going to follow Blake Hale dusting the heavy metal machine as Night Train gets hardcore set up on to the top turn muggle. We've got action on the outside right here in front of us. Oh my God. Blake Hale taking down the heavy metal machine. Is it? Logan got him right away. Logan is saying to Blake Hale into the barricade. And it looks like Nice Train managed to reverse whatever I'm going to try to do. Nice Train's got a hardcore in the middle of the ring. And we got Blake Hale, the heavy metal machine on the outside. Heavy metal machine Bla sends Blake Hale straight into steel step. Nut train with a nice boot to hardcore. Once again, just to let you know, the champion does not need to be involved in the pinfall or the submission in order to lose the championship here. We got the heavy metal machine. And now Nut Train going at it once again. Hardcore is down. Blake Hale is down. It looks like Night Train might be out of it for a bit. The heavy metal machine is now going after Blake Hale. He's gonna drag him into the middle of the ring. And he's gonna kick him. And it looks like the heavy metal machine and hardcore. Wait a minute! Hardcore DDT got stopped! Oh my god! Oh! Did you see that? Oh man, I gotta tell you, like, you know, Hardcore better take advantage of that because, you know, there, there's just no way that Hardcore could not take advantage of it. But Hardcore instead is now focusing his attack on the Heavy Metal Machine, the World Heavyweight Champion. And Night Train is now in the ring. Wait a minute, Night Train, this is Blake Hill, and now I'm going after Blake Hill on the outside of the ring. Night Train gonna try and then go after the neck of Blake Hale. But once again, in case you just joined us here in the live stream, this is for the CW World Heavyweight Championship as we have Blake Hale, Hardcore, Night Train, who is just announced minutes prior to the match. And the CW World Heavyweight Champion Logan in a fatal four-way match. First pinfall or submission will be the new CW World Champion. And there is one, two, three. Oh my God! Blake Hale, Blake Hale, bring up that pinfall. We not nice, sure. Right? The heavy metal machine looks like he's down and not hard guard. And Blake Hale, no. These two can't agree on who wants to go to the Logan. Blake Hale, oh, followed by Hardcore with a knee. And it looks like Hardcore is going to run it with Hardcore knee. Oh my God. Now Blake Hale going straight up at Hardcore. Blake Hale's got Hardcore on the center rope. And what's he going to do? Oh my God. Can Hardcore survive? Wait, Blake Hale trying to go for the Logan. Wait, it, now he's going to try to get. Oh, my God. There's a power bomb. One, two, three. Wait a minute. The heavy metal machine, Logan, is being eliminated from the Phantom Ball. Well, he's taking that one more time. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. So, it, 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 the heavy metal machine is out. What? But I don't know what to tell you, but I think Blake Hale is now your CWL World Heavyweight Champion. No ticket in every play one more time. There it is with the Hale Driver. The heavy metal seed and the drain, the drain, drawing the running. Yo, man, but like right here is that fireball in front. Let's take a look. What? Oh my god, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and the new CW World Heavyweight Champion!